What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Stenstrom and welcome to the channel. Today, tonight actually, we're doing an install on the LX Designs aluminum belly pan. Now, this cutout should be for the oil pan drain and this should be for the oil filter. Now, with this, with this install, I'm going to be demonstrating how simple it is to put on, which it's four bolts. You get up under there, you take it on as long as the previous belly pan, plastic belly pan is off, which mine already is. I'm going to be demonstrating how easy this is to install, and then I will be demonstrating a how easy the oil change is to do with it. Now, having the benefits of this aluminum belly pan it's so much more stronger. Actually, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. It's smaller. Ah. Let me just go ahead and... So here is a comparison of the two. Now when you're doing old changes with this one, this belly pan has to come off. This one should not have to. I'll be demonstrating that in this video. Also, this is always going to be stronger than this plastic one. If anything jumps up under your car, you run over something, this is protecting your oil pan. That will protect it from minor debris and everything, but this is going, metal is going to protect it. This is why I want it. My car is going to be bagged in the future. I want to have the undercarriage as safe as possible especially my motor and oil pan. So that's the route. This is why I went with this. So as y'all seen, it came with this protective plastic that just peels off. I'm going to peel it off prior to the install because the bolts are going to go on this side and I don't want to have to worry about all this afterwards. But I am going to have fingerprints afterwards. So, oh well, I'm going to have fingerprints onto the car. Okay, so here is the supplied hardware that comes with it. Of course, four washers, four bolts. Let me find the correct Allen head for this and then we'll get down there and get it installed. Okay guys, so we are under the car. This is the front member, radiator. Here's your front member. And you're gonna have two spots. You're gonna have one right here, one down here. Here's the oil pan, oil filter, your rack and pinion, and then we move back here, and we have two spots as well. We have one right here, and one right there. Now, recording this, I have a headlamp on. I'm gonna try to do all this and show you guys as well as I can. All right, we have all of them started. They're not all bolted in, or torqued down. But you can see this bin that's in it works great. Works perfect with, sorry, I can't see back there. But works perfect with the kick ups in these cross members. Let's see if we can get in here. And you'll see, all right, you'll see that the oil pan, so, sorry. You'll see that the oil filter is right there, but should be able to reach right in the opening to get to it and get it out. And not a lot of room or light down here, guys, so I apologize. And as you can see, <laughs> this opening here in it, is direct access to this, which I've already loosened, which I almost messed up. <laughs> now, we should be able to open this with enough room, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this torqued down and then get the oil chains. So we are completely torqued down. Belly pan is on, and I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, guys. And that guards your rack and pinion, and then your engine, oil pan, 
Very important stuff. I'm very pleased with it. Let's get the oil change done and see if it does what it is advertised to do. Times like these, I really wish I had a GoPro with a wide angle because this is just too close. But we have the drain pan here and we have the opening right here. Now I've already broke the bolt loose. Let's see if I can record this and give you guys some light. All right, I hope you guys can see. Now I'm gonna get oil all over myself because I'm trying to hold a light, make sure that the camera is showing what it needs to show. All right. And look at that, guys. Full bolt out. Full bolt out, not even, well, the drips that are on it are my fault. But that is completely draining, free flow. Wow, I'm actually impressed. I honestly thought that it would hit the skid plate. So let me clean up without getting oil all over the camera. I'll show you guys the oil filter. So the oil is completely drained. We got the oil pan bolt back in. Now, just to show how much room there is, there's plenty of room to get the tools in here to tighten it. And we are snug. I, so far, am super happy with this thing. Now let's get this oil filter out and see. All right guys, so we have the, the oil pan under. Or the old catch pan, whatever. So as you can see, you can reach up in here. Try not to block the light. And, yep, I need my oil filter wrench. Okay. So we have the oil filter wrench on. Oil catch pan is right there. Let's get this thing broken loose real quick. All right. Now it's broken loose. I'm going to go ahead and... No, it's not broken loose enough. This is hard to do with one hand, guys. Okay, so we are broken loose. As you can see, my hand is through the opening in the belly pin. straight out of that. It's draining just fine. All the oil that's actually on the pan, now well, besides those little drips right there. I am super happy with this so far guys. I'm gonna let this drain a little bit, get my new filter, get it on, get everything cleaned up. And that's basically the oil change. I mean, adding the oil, of course, but. Okay, guys, so we're using Genuine Mopar oil filter. Part number MO899. And we have five quarts here of a OW40, Mobile One, full synthetic. Plus one, that's six. And I personally don't. You guys just Use the seven quarts however you want. I personally always substitute one quart of Marvel Mystery Oil in every vehicle that I do an oil change on. Now, if you want to, do it. If not, don't. That is completely up to you. That is your personal preference. I've always done it. I've done it on all my engines. That's my personal opinion. Take it for what it is. Now. Of course, the 6.4 calls out for OW40. I'm a Mobile One fan. A lot of people use Penzoil in these motors. Personal preference is what it is. Let's get this oil filter on. We'll get these in there. Oil change is done. 
All right, so let's demonstrate how this hole works. And now I'll get that snug without holding the camera with one. But that is a full oil change with the LX Designs aluminum belly pan. All in all, I'm happy with it. I'm completely happy with it, guys. I'm going to say that this is a must, must have for all LX. Chrysler 300s, I'm, I'm sure they're for, I'll have to look, Magnums, but I know they're for Chargers and Challengers as well. I will look. I'll put all the information down below. I, and I'm not even closing this video out yet. Okay guys, that is the oil change. We had five quarts, plus one quart, plus one quart. The Mopar oil filter. I'll let that finish draining. Now, to sum up why I use this, it says right here, directions for use, oil. Replace up to 20% of oil with marble mystery oil. Uh, helps increase engine power, reduce wear, reduce harmful emissions, blah, 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 blah. Now, I've just always used this in all my oil changes. I've been using it in every vehicle that I've ever owned, which is quite a bit of vehicles. And it's never done me wrong. So, I continue to use it. You guys do what you want. Use all your oil. Use pins oil. Use whatever you want to use. This is what I personally use. Sorry if you don't agree. Now, that sums up the oil change. And I hope you guys enjoyed the install of the LX Designs aluminum belly pan. Okay, guys. That was our install. That was our oil change. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys see the benefit of having this over the plastic one, even if it's just the simplicity of doing your oil change. This is aluminum belly pan is a must have for all Chargers, Challengers, 300s, and I think they fit Magnums. I'll have to double check. Don't hold me to that. But guys, man, I'll put his information down below. These are very affordable. Y'all saw the fitment. You saw how easy it was to put on. I hope you can see the benefits of having the aluminum one over the plastic one, not only for the oil change, but just for the protecting, like for its protective uses. <laughs> Whatever. It will protect your rock, your rack and pinion. And your, I'm killing it, guys. Whatever. It's going to protect your stuff. Get it. Enjoy it. Lowered cars. I think it's a must. You have much less clearance. My car is going to be bagged. It's a must-have, guys. I'm ending it. I'm done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications. All his information, all that company's information will be down below. His Facebook page. If you do want one, just message him, message the company, tell them that you saw the video that Zach sent you. Maybe he'll hook you up. But until the next video, I'll see you then, guys.